Ale! Viva el flamenco! One of the things I really love to hear, people will, they'll write or they'll call after an assembly and we've been to the school, they say, my gosh, that night after my kid came home, he pulled me by the arm after dinner and was trying to show me how to dance and what he'd learned or what she learned. It's fun it's how it sparks the sense of joy in a family. I love to share flamenco dancing with students because I'm always hoping it, that something I say or do or my colleagues will work the same kind of magic on someone's life when you least expect it. I really enjoy working at the school shows because the children have so much energy, you know, and they're so alive and boisterous and uh, generally they just soak it up. I've been very excited because I know that our students have been learning not only about flamenco dance but about history, mathematics, fractions. What we do for students, I feel, is that First of all, it's wonderful that we come to the school and we give a performance and that's what people are expecting and it's exciting and it's fun. But what they don't expect is the real gift to the students because flamenco requires connecting to every classroom subject. Kids need to be inspired to try things and they need to see what's out there that they could be trying. Flamenco is a really good dance that will teach you a lot of different skills. We share uh, many aspects of the art form. We introduce the map of flamenco, we and we trace the history and the roots of flamenco, which, believe it or not, begin in Asia a thousand years ago. So we have a map and we trace their travels. And then we demonstrate, you know, the hands. I mean, like their hand gestures. And we have them try that. The kids love to do that. We talk about the footwork in flamenco. And we... My favorite part of the, of the dance was when, when they went the man, he started showing us how they did the footwork. Our male dancer comes up and he shows them how you can use different parts of your feet to get different sounds. We combine these sounds and create patterns. Flamenco is great for math. You have to calculate your steps out and a lot of it is improvising but a lot of it is preparation and do the steps like fit in the measure. We have each dancer do a very different dance and we ask the students to describe what they thought the dancer was feeling. I like how much they put sentimental value inside like the dances. This flamenco has a wide gamut of expression. Like if you're feeling happy, you can dance a happy dance. If you're feeling angry, you can dance an angry dance and it's all okay. I like how the dancers use so much passion while they're dancing to express their feelings. The best part of the assembly is when people unexpectedly <laughs> are brought up out of the audience, including teachers and administrators, and then the kids never forget it. Children are very honest, and when they respond to something, it's certainly visceral. Well, it's the kids, you know, they, there's an innocence behind what they see. Many other art forms are more limited into one single generation, but in flamenco, you can have uh, a child and their older brother and their parent and their aunt and uncle and the grandparents all interacting together and participating in flamenco. I like how they, they were all dancing like a family together. They, they worked together as a team, as a family. Looking at the kids today, I think they felt the same thing I felt the first time I witnessed it. Just so excited that Sakai is here today and I just love the art form. I used to be very shy and introverted. I've become more confident and I feel right at home on stage, just standing proud. You don't know who you're inspiring or you don't know what kid might have had a bad day or something like that. One of the kids came up to me and told me how much he was moved by the show and how it affected him and so, you know, when I think of things like that, that's what inspires me. I think it's pretty well documented that studying music is hugely useful to children. While I may not be able to bring up a kid on stage and teach them to play the guitar in five minutes, if all I can do is get a couple kids to see my instrument and say, I want to try that, I'm pretty happy about that. And what I really liked about the, the performance is the way Kai did the guitar. Uh, let me speak to this. One day I want to and I'm hoping our students go further and explore it further themselves and I hope it's a, they enjoy the arts for, for, the, for the rest of their lives. I have so much fun and I, I have so much fun with them.
that's what it's about doing these assemblies. Learning and having fun at the same time and being exposed to something different which makes you a total, a total person.